Bay. Welcome back in everyone here as a look at Tyler with our Skyview camera brought to you by Cables Roofing. We're off to a quiet start this morning. Temperature wise right now we're sitting out in the 70s right now. We're at 72 in Tyler with a dew point of 65, so it is a bit uh, on the humid side out there. Now for our day today, we are going to see those highs in the mid 90s. Thunderstorms will be developing later this afternoon though into the evening hours, mainly north of Interstate 20 and can't rule out a strong to severe thunderstorm there. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second, but taking a look at what Futurecast has going forward. You can see after about five, six o'clock, we'll see a line of thunderstorms start to move through the Interstate 30 corridor along the leading edge of that line. That's where we can't rule out some 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Again, that straight line wind gusts uh, that can do uh, some damage out there. So just make sure to stay weather aware. We'll see those storms drift southward to the I-20 corridor by nine o'clock at night tonight, and then we'll continue to see a chance for storms through the overnight hours and into your Friday morning as well. You may have a messy morning commute on your Friday, especially along the Interstate 30 corridor from Sulphur Springs to Mount Pleasant and maybe as far as that south as Gilmer and Mineola. The thunderstorms Friday morning won't be as strong as the activity that we could see late this afternoon, but still some heavy thunderstorms with heavy downpours cannot be ruled out Friday morning and into your Friday afternoon. We'll continue to see some isolated showers and thunderstorms, but we should gradually start to dry out as we head into Friday night. Now taking a look at that severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, most of the area under that level one out of five marginal risk, which means an isolated severe storm is possible, but in our far northwestern areas like Hopkins County, can't rule out a better chance of showers and uh, as or severe uh, thunderstorms out there. So just make sure to stay weather aware along and north of the Interstate 20 corridor late today into tonight. We are going to see a hot and dry first day of fall on Saturday, but then rain chances increase again Sunday and Monday, which will bring uh, again some heat relief highs in the 80s for Sunday, Monday, even into Tuesday and Wednesday, although we slowly warm up for the middle part of next week.